Hello and welcome to the Walk in Love Podcast. I'm TJ. And I'm Brooke. And today we are going to talk about something. I was too busy looking at this button. I go click, click, click. <laughs> um, thank you for listening. Thank you for making us a part of your week. Thank you for shopping the May Tea of the Month. Um, if you're listening now, there's a good chance that it's already sold out. Yeah. Uh, but today is the last day you can buy one if there's still one available. Yeah. Hot seller. It says do everything in love. Spoiler alert. We figured that out. And that is what we mouthed to each other last week when we were uncertain. Yes. Um, because I had mocked it up a few ways with a few different sayings. And uh, so, yeah. So we know what it says. And now you know what it says. And now it's almost sold out, which is amazing. So thank you for that. And uh, I already said it, but I'll say it again. Thank you for making us a part of your week. Today, we are going to talk about something. Um, it feels very much like a... No notes. 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 No no, no, it's like, a, it's no notes, but then it also has a heavy, heavy dose of what are we doing? Yeah. So, and That's then each right. one always comes with, you want weird? I'll give you weird, 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 weird. <laughs> so that's where we are. Um, but I do have a song of the week. Um, and I want Brooke to try to guess who is singing this. Oh gosh. Okay. Cause it's, cause the band is called three ships. Oh, okay. And so I was like, Oh, I, I'll, you know, I just clicked on it to just see what they sounded like. And I was like, I know this voice. I know oh, this I, voice. Okay. I see what you mean. Okay. It's like, you just told me the name. Yeah. But there's, you mean who is singing? Yeah. Or what band the person singing also sings in. Okay. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. I think I have two guesses. Okay. I'm trying to think of the band's names. I hear it when you're waking up. What? And you don't have to say it out loud. Parachute. No. Man, I know. I do know that voice. Okay, ready? One more time. Oh, you're going to get one more shot. You got it. I'm sending it to you with my eyeballs. Okay. Waymaker, miracle worker. Oh, it's Leland? Yeah. Oh. I actually thought, well, it doesn't matter now because I didn't say it, but. Well, I, I will believe you. I thought that that's who that was, but I didn't think you were giving me, my brain was not in that space. Right. So. I mean, I'm a Christian, so my brain is always in that space, but yeah, okay. we can pray for you. <sighs> Just breathe deeply. Just breathe through it. Breathe through the internal rage that you're feeling towards me right now. It's fine. Is it? Fine. No, it's not <laughs> fine. But it's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. <laughs> Brooke, how was your week? My week was good. Hi. <laughs> I blacked out. Here I am. No. Um, <clears throat> my week was good. We had a couple big things. Happened in the last week. Working in reverse. Launched. Tea of the month. Design of the month. Amazing. Yeah. Love it. It says do everything in love. I'm wearing it right now. Yep. Before that, we got kittens. Yep. Big deal. Big, big, big deal. And I know that some of you listening might be like, wait a second. I thought TJ hated cats. He said he never wanted cats again. Cats are the worst. Yada, yada, yada. Because I received some of those texts from friends. Who knew? Who knew we got kittens? Wait, Here, before you before you share this news, I, I have a surprise, and it <laughs> is possibly the best thing to potentially ever happen to anyone anywhere in the history of the universe. Okay, go. <laughs> Shoot, we got kittens. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> but here's the thing: you were over having very mean female cats in a very small home. Absolutely. In Pennsylvania weather. Yep. Where they can't, well, they can be outside around the, like all the time, but it's not as great. Anyway. There was a season where I was over. You were not anti-cats. I was over everything. 
Yeah. Yeah. And now we live in Maui and our cats can go outside. Yeah. And the girls have never had kittens. And so we wanted them to have that experience in their life. And so, yeah, tell them the story. Mm. Tell them the story, babe. We've been going to the... Um, Humane League. Is it Humane League yep. or Humane Society? What's I the difference? Is it Swami or Swammy? I know it starts with This one is the Society. Anyway, to look at the animals, because they have, in the middle section, they have, it's not really like a petting zoo, but kind of. Like, you can go out and see everything. You're, <laughs> you're like, oh, that lady's back again. Yeah, right? Yeah, what's she doing? <laughs> you're allowed to just be there, even if you're not looking to adopt. So we've been going, and we went the other day, and I said to TJ very loudly, and clearly as I left, so the, so he could hear me and the girls could hear me, we're not getting anything unless there is magically two boy orange kittens. Yep. One or two. One or two, right. Well, Turns out there guess were two. what it showed up in yep. the last few days. Um, kittens are hard to get. People want them. Two, they, go, they go fast. Two orange boy cats. We've had many cats over the years, and consistently our favorite cats are boy cats. Yeah. They're like just calmer and chiller. Yeah. And specifically the orange boy cats are the chillest. Yeah. And so we got them. And yeah. we we circled around on names for a long time. But we landed. But we landed and their names are mac and cheese. So mac and cheese are part of our household now. And Sunny is very, very busy babysittering them all day long. And she huffs and puffs when she carries them to a room because she wants them to be in that room and they run out and she goes, oh, these kittens. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that moment Child. when I'm trying to make you put away hula hoops, <laughs> for example. That's just like a random thing that popped into my oh, head. Poor thing. And you rage. Like she, the, she did rage. But I handled it well. Over the hula hoops. Um, so... Because of the kittens, and then my parents were here for a day because my mom had a trip to Maui. Um, and my dad tagged along with her, which is so cute to me. To me, that is one of the sweetest things. They were here for less than 24 hours. And my dad, Oof, to spend time with her, went to the airport, which is a long drive for them, went on the 12-hour plane ride, yeah. was here for one night, and then left. Yeah, I just think that's so sweet. I mean, he got to come to Maui for free, but like, right. it's just also sweet. Yeah. A lot of people would be like, no, thanks. No, thanks. I actually think that you, if I was like, Hey babe, I'm going on this one day trip. Will you just come with me to just keep me company? <laughs> There's a chance you might say that. In this current stage of life. Yes. <laughs> but at that current stage of life, your dad did not go with your mom. He true was that. home with, true your, that. with true the that. kids. True that. True that. So. Fair point. So fair in point. Life. Later in life, you heard it here first. I might go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I probably would. Um, the other actually, I don't know. I really don't know. The other big news you want to share about the? Yeah, I was working in reverse. Oh, okay, working in reverse. We got kittens. We got kittens. We got home from getting kittens. We were at the. No, yeah. we're not doing that. <laughs> I ate really good sushi this weekend. We did. But the other big news is that I finally went. Well, I went to the doctor a while ago, but I went back. Finally, got a date for my voice surgery. So that is coming up, I believe, unless something changes, on the 16th of May. May 16th. So, so lots of prayers, greatly appreciated. And then we'll probably take like a two week break yeah. from the podcast to let the voice recover. Yeah. And uh, then we'll be back at it. And hopefully Brooke will be sounding. Get it again with the white band. Man, that was that was a thing. That was super viral. But it was also very funny. It was. I feel like, not TikTok, Vine was funnier. Yeah. I think I'm not on TikTok, well, so I don't know. The I internet like was a much more innocent place then. <laughs> you know, in, in terms of, I mean, the internet's always had good and evil. Yeah, but that might not be the right word, but. Social media was less volatile. Yes. And so people were literally just trying to be funny. Yeah. And not trying to like, Make a lot of points. Pummel you and stab into you. the ground. Mm. Yeah. Stab, stab you digitally multiple times. <laughs> He's got multiple digital stab wounds. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I feel that <laughs> in my life. Um, yes. Yeah, so we're excited for that. We're hopeful that it'll help. Um, we've heard some videos of Brooke recently 
from the past and she definitely sounds better than she does now. Yeah. And so it's hard to know because it happens so gradually yep. that I end up justifying no matter how, how I sound that, yeah. that, that this feels normal. Yep. And then I do, if I go back and listen to an episode or a video, you're like, wow, I'm like, Oh shoot. That's a lot clearer. Ooh. Hey. Um, anything else or was that it? That was it. I be it. Upstairs and downstairs. Um, so we don't have a plan today, as if you couldn't tell. Um, <laughs> if we weren't making that like abundantly clear. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a good clip. Um, and so I thought I would start this conversation by asking Brooke some questions. Okay. What like? Okay. I have I have answers. What gives you the right? right. <laughs> I thought that's where you were. Why don't you let him unwrap your gift? <laughs> suck it. <laughs> um, no, it's a suck on this. It's a rock. <laughs> we're talking about the office in case you didn't wonder. Um, I feel like there's stuff the Lord is currently putting on my heart or pushing me through or like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm laughing because you said pushing me through and in, instantly my mind goes or dragging me through, or dragging me through because that's how it feels. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like that there's always like <laughs> things or like, I don't know to give a visual picture to it, which Brooke has given me a compliment on. So now I'm just all in on visual pictures. <laughs> One compliment. That's all I need, babe. And I'm going to run with it. Wow. Um, like <laughs> we're getting older. <laughs> Uh huh. Brooke can only turn her head one way. <laughs> My left side is an in constant state of sort of pain. <laughs> and we're not unhealthy people. We're relatively healthy. But there's, yeah. you know, as you get older, there's like pains in your life, <laughs> physical. Like you're like, oh, my shoulder hurt. What did you do? An Iron Man? <laughs> no, I slept on the wrong side. Nope. Just uh, changing the laundry from the washer to the dryer. It was a heavy load. <laughs> or it's like, I turned quick to answer a question. And then, oh, I do that. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> gosh. Ow. So you feel those like pains or points of like, oh, I need to like maybe stretch that out or sit on a foam roller or, you know, <laughs> just you literally know. straighten my legs so all my muscles get a little loose. <laughs> you got yourself in the giggle box. <clears throat> and so... That obviously happens physically. Right. But if it's happening spiritually or just like emotionally, uh, that's my question. Like, what are those points or like, and, and they don't have to be bad. Like, I, I actually have a positive one to share, but I, I'm just curious about you and your life right now is like, what do you, what do you feel those, the answer to that question would be? Yeah. Um, or do you want me to go first and you think about it? No, I can try. Okay. I don't know if I have it all summed up into like one little package. <clears throat> it's great. The podcast is perfect. This is the unsummed up package version. Sorry, guys. This is the deep cut original but unedited version. As always, this is so typical of me and my personality. I struggle with being present, which is really interesting because weirdly enough, I wouldn't say that about myself. I would be like, no, I'm super present. Like I'm aware of what's going on. I'm whatever, whatever. Aware of how bad my neck hurts. Yeah. Yeah. However, if I let myself like, you know, back up or zoom, zoom out on my life, I definitely see it and it comes in waves and it, I don't know if that's connected to anything else, but I just, it is a struggle for me to be fully present. And a lot of that is like, it's not it, like, it's not like I'm like one of the kids is like wants me to play with them. And I'm like, no, I have to go do this other thing. Like I will sit and play with them. Mm -hmm. I will sit and read with them or I will whatever, but it's more of like this a little bit bigger picture, like lack of presence where I just want to be wherever's next. Mm hmm. And I, because that's what I'm thinking about and that's what I'm wishing for in that sense, I'm not present 
with just where I am today, what I've been given, what I have, what's mine to do, what's mine not to do, all of it. And so, again, there's no wrapped up thing here. So, like, when let, let's use an example. So, when June says, "Hey, do you, will you play? Will you do? Will you do art with me?" Yeah, you're not thinking, I. I can't do this art because I want to do the next thing with June. Correct. What your your feeling is, I just want to literally be in the next phase of my life. Yes. Like not yes. There activity you go. to activity, but like no. I want to be in better shape. Further along. I want to have more of an income. Yep. I want to have my bathroom finished. I want like whatever it may be. Whatever. Um, you know. Yeah. And so you feel that like on a big picture scale, but then it like, it affects you. Yes. It, it day to day. Yes, exactly. Okay. And so, so I just, because a lot of people who listen to this are gonna be like, Oh my word, I feel that exact same way. <laughs> what are ways that you fight against it or that you maybe lean into it? Like, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. Like I think there are some good things that we want to move towards you know, and we want to be in that next phase of life. I think sometimes we can, it can be bad when we're not literally enjoying the goodness of the Lord today, but thinking that's that's when I know it's getting bad mm -hmm. when I'm starting to like feel super bitter or super just just angry at everything and everyone for literally no reason. Right. One thing when I can pinpoint it and be like, okay, this is a frustrating relationship or, you know, this is causing pain or I can, pinpoint an actual like, Ugh, there's yeah. my, that's not great. But when everything's going great on and off paper and I'm still like, everything's the worst. Right. <laughs> that's when I realize if I can get to the point of letting myself like check myself. I, Before you I, wreck yourself. Right. All I want is to be further along. That's- and so I end up feeling like, okay, well if I'm not further along, then in this moment right now, I'm behind. Mm. Behind what? I, yeah. Like, you know, behind I can who? certainly, yeah, yeah, can certainly unpack all that and be like, okay, that's totally crazy. And you're not crazy, but that's not actually what you're feeling. You're not yeah. actually behind. I can, I can walk myself back out of it, mm-hmm. but I let myself sit in it for way too long before I realize that's what's actually is happening. Do you feel like this is a new thing or do you feel like you felt like you felt like this have, for a long, no, this long is not time? New but I didn't know what it was before. Right. And I mean like way before. But through your your whole life, you've had these sort of feelings. Yes. That you're behind. Desperately want it. Well, yes and no. Like that's not the root feeling. Okay. But I always wanted to be further along. Just no matter what. No matter what. How am I not already graduated high school? (laughs) Not, Not because I'm not like, not because I'm actually trying to graduate early. Right. That was never the plan. Yeah. But I am bothered that I'm not done yet. Interesting. And then I was bothered that like, okay, I'm not going to marry any of you people. I want to find that person. Here I am. I remember feeling both. The primary emotion I remember feeling is embarrassed. I don't know if that's right. Okay. At my high school graduation. I did not want to be celebrating this because I was over it. I wanted to be past it. And, and then I remember kind of feeling bad because I'm like, this is a big moment, especially for my parents. Right. Don't negate their celebration. But I was not that self-aware as what a 17 year old. Right. And so I've always been like that. Interesting. I mean, I, I know that about you, but I'm right. just like, it's just still fascinating me because I don't necessarily feel that way. Which is fascinating because you to throw the Enneagram in are okay. seven. Mm-hmm who is always looking towards what's next. Right. Standing still feels like. I mean, I don't want to brag, ever. but Jeremy Pryor once said that I'm the healthiest seven he knows. So <laughs> I'm aware. I'm aware. But you know, I think people think like that sort of behavior can manifest itself in you very differently. Yeah. Than, like, yeah, to me, it's like, I don't know if it's necessarily like I'm not, I'm mad. I'm not further ahead. I'm more mad that I didn't start earlier. Like I go the other way. Like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think like that. Like right now I'm using that new map to, to lose some weight. I have a goal weight. Um, and 
you know, it's really helping me understand what to eat and what not to eat, you know, which I, I, I have a general idea, but you know, as soon as you start tracking it, you're like, Oh, this that's is right. That's right. I yeah. shouldn't eat four yeah. tablespoons of mayo. <laughs> Smart. Smart. Um, <laughs> just take a big whiff. Um, <laughs> And so to me, it's like this app has worked really well. Yeah. I'll link it in the show notes if you want to try it out. Uh, people are like, oh, I always get it. I guess they have like a huge advertisement, but but oh, they do. It's anybody everywhere. I've ever mentioned it if to is like Pinterest or anywhere. Yeah. People like, are like, oh, I've been advertised for that. I've sort of signed up for it. And I'm like, oh, OK. Yeah. And when I went to start using it again, it was like, you already have an account. I goes, oh, apparently I did. too. <laughs> but like for whatever reason in this season, in this moment, it's working really, really well. And to me, I find myself irritated that like, why didn't I start this when I started feeling like, you know, I feel like anytime you had a baby, I gained weight because it's just like, it's just what we did. We just sat on and ate. <laughs> you, know? you were hungry. You want to go get something? Sure. I'm in, you know, like, and that just sort of happens by default and I have nothing to show for it. You have a beautiful child, <laughs> a gift from the Lord and I just have a belly. Um, and so like this app has been super helpful. And to me, I'm always just like, I should have just started this. Like I should have known about this and started it. And it's like, and then I, I, I give myself quite a bit of grace and it's just like, well, I wasn't ready or anything like that. But I, yeah. I feel that just, I think I feel it in mm -hmm. a different way. Painting is a really good example. I feel like, man, this is incredible. And I had that inkling a year before I started and I ignored it for a whole year. And then I started, you know, when we shut down our, our shop, the, you know, the, that sort of call from the Lord, I felt like I had that for a whole year and I ignored it. Right. And so I find myself irritated that like, I you wasn't felt prompt. You feel prompted sooner. I feel prompted. Life, then you take action. Then I take action with hard things, with hard things, new things, new thing. Well, really anything. Like, I think, I don't know. I just, I just feel like I don't know. Maybe I feel a good, strong connection with the Holy Spirit. So I know, like, I feel that, that conviction or that prompting. Right. And now, and my goal is that as I mature and am sanctified and, you know, refined and, and become more like Jesus as my life ages, as, as I get older, that the, 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 from the prompting to the action is shorter. Yeah. Like that is my yes, goal. The gap. There's, there's small, small gap, you know, and, and that I just like am obedient because it, as I look back now, every time I've made those hard decisions and been obedient, I've seen God work yeah, in mighty ways. And so, yeah, I feel that. Yeah. For me, I think there's a lot of things that can help me be more present and grateful with where I am. Um, but for me, it, it, those steps show up in like a super practical, it's going to sound like a to-do list. It's not, but like, you know, like giving Daisy a bath, which we joke about how, <laughs> how little we've given her a bath <laughs> so far in her life compared to the other ones, um, just because of the lifestyle here. But <laughs> I like, I, I gave her one yesterday, not because she necessarily needed it. Right. But because like, how do you play with a seven month old? You know what right. I mean? Like they kind of just do their thing and they yeah. you either are holding them or talking to them. And so I chose to give her a bath and be very present and sit there because she was in the tub for that, you know, 20 minutes or how, however long the whole thing right. took very intentionally yesterday, instead of saying like, I'm going to let her be in the bouncer while I go do something else. Right. And so, yeah. My, my way of be one of my ways of being more gratefully present is to, I, I have to come up with a list of what that looks like because I'll, I'll just forget. Mm. I just won't. I have to write it right. down or tell somebody, but writing it down is better because then I can go back and look at it. Yeah. Because otherwise I just... I mean, I joke all the time and this comes from my friend Renee who always jokingly is like, I don't know. I blacked out <laughs> and I'm like, yes, that is so relatable to me because when you ask me how my week was, there's part of me that's like, I have no clue. <laughs> and then if I really yeah, think yeah. and I, and I literally start to go backwards, I can recall the days. It's not like I'm actually forgetful of right. what we did on a Tuesday. Like I know what we did on a Tuesday, mm -hmm. but the whole like, 
overarching vibe or presence of like, how was your last week? I have no idea. Right. And that's where, you know, <laughs> and sometimes that's fine. Yeah. But sometimes that's a bigger tell of like, you being I, I'm elsewhere. Yeah. You're disengaged for yeah. sure. Yeah. Because like, if you put two of those weeks together or three of those weeks together, then you, there's a month of your life that you're just like, I don't, I don't recall. I don't remember. I don't, yeah. you know, I, I, I wasn't engaged enough to have, you know, yes, that, key moments. That's exactly. That's what it you is. You know, key memories or whatever. Like, out, like think about inside out where she like has remember. the, you know, Oh, like a like, core memory. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, there's, you know, all the, they, they dump all the memories from the day and you're like, okay, <laughs> She might remember some of those. It's a great movie. Um, And, but like, it's like, if I'm disengaged week in and week out for a long enough time, then I'm missing these core memories that will impact the way that I parent or the way that I engage with my faith or the way that I follow Jesus or love my spouse or whatever. And so it's like, there are times where I have to tell Brooke, like, Hey, come back to us, be with us, be near to us, you know, because it's, it's hard. And it's just struggle. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do mine. So that was really great. Do you have anything to, that you want to add? I'm sure I'll think of something okay. as we talk. But so mine's a weird one. But I'll, I'll weird, weird, weird. Yeah, let me hit that. You want weird? I'll give you weird, 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 weird. Um, I also kind of missed the option to do this when we were talking. Get it <laughs> when we were talking about pains. So this is gonna be a long. It's gonna be a long way to the well. Okay. Just be prepared. Not that long, but it's going to start weird. And then I think it's going to get. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's going to get somewhere. Let's hope. <laughs> Cause you've now set it up to be real weird. No, it's just like, okay. So I love film criticism. Yeah. Like I love film critics. Uh, there's a few that I follow on YouTube that I really enjoy and like engaging with them. I think that we are at, probably one of the worst ages of film ever in existence. Like, because, and this, and this will all connect, but like basically what's happening with movies is they are, we've gone from creating art to creating content. And so movies now are just content to sell us more stuff, you know, or a piece of content to sell the next piece of content. Like, and and it's like, everything has to have a universe and everything has to like connect and then sell something else and get you to subscribe and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, we've shifted from making art and being creative just for the sake of creativity to only making content. And I feel this in my person. I feel this in my own life. Yeah. Like <clears throat> that is how we make a living. We make content on the internet to then sell a product. So it's like, there's, there are phases of life where you like have to do it. And so what I feel like the Lord has put on my heart lately is like, the phrase that just keeps coming to my head over and over and over again is just create, just create, just be creative. Just step into the creativity that I've given to you. Use your talents that I've given you and let that be enough. Don't feel like creating for the sake of creativity or creating just because you think something's beautiful is not enough unless it does something else. And so like, as I've been watching some of these critics talk about like, we've gotten away from making art in movies to just making content in movies that like really convicted me or like hit home with me that I was like, wow, that is not just true in this sort of big picture, huge Hollywood budget world, but it's also like super true in my own personal life that I feel like I need to make content and that is, that is enough. And I'm like kind of ignoring this creative spirit that I have but it's kind of masked. It's like kind of masked by, well, I'm, I'm putting stuff out every day or I'm like making right. something every day or I'm editing something every day or I'm, you know, writing something every day. And it's like, well, no, I'm just like barely skimming the surface of creativity or what, what something I can create. Right. Instead of actually plunging into the depths and seeing what's down there. Yeah. And so to me, I, I've just been, I, and maybe some other people feel like this. I don't know. This might be super, just for me, but you know, I like sharing just in case it's like that phrase just create has like percolated in my mind. And so like last week I was like, all right, I'm just going to create, I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to create what I want. 
and put it out there and like, or not put it out there. Like there was no stipulations. And I felt like last week I, I had, I don't know. I just felt like more alive and more present. And I don't know. It was just like really kind of a, I don't know. It was an incredible week last week. And I can't look back and be like, it was because we got kittens or because like, (laughs) it was just like, I felt like the word that the Lord was giving me, you know, however simple it was, was listened to. And it wasn't like, I didn't overthink it. And so to me, I just feel like, man, how many of us or how many times has that sort of thing happened? And I do overthink it or I don't listen or I'm not obedient or whatever. And I end up in a rut or I end up feeling frustrated or I end up sinning or whatever. And I just felt like, I don't know. I just felt like alive last week because of it. And so just an encouragement to you listening that if, if you feel like the Lord is like, Oh, Hey, just blank. Right. You know, do that thing. Do that thing. Go on and do that thing. Um, (laughs) Sorry. It was the way you said it. (laughs) Um, So yeah, that that was, that's kind of where I, you know, no notes. That's what I'm feeling. So yeah, it's really good. You're really good. Thanks. Actually, something you said has prompted a whole other thing in my head, but I think it should be a totally separate episode. Oh, do you want to give us a little preview? Oh boy. Um, yeah. No, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, we're going to, we're sticking to the shorter episodes for a little bit, um, both for Brooke's voice and just, we're just trying them out. Yeah. Let us know what you think. The YouTube is a great place to comment on specific episodes. We read those comments um, and then that way it's episode specific and not just a review for the podcast and, and whole, yeah. as a whole. Yeah. Um, anything news related that we'd like, not, <laughs> not news, like <laughs> information related to us that needs to be get out there. Get out there. T of the month is available. If yep. there's any left, this today's the last day. If you're listening on Monday, Yeah. the next T of the month will obviously be June 1st, yes. but May 31st, right? 30 days. Yeah. Isn't that our anniversary? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. 13 years. This month. Yeah. Amazing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. No, it's not though. Cause you, I'm always like, you are a, a murderer of love. I'm always like, is it, is it the 31st? It is. Is it the 30th? Yeah. No, it's the 31st. It's the 31st. 13 years. Wow. So, We'll have a tea of the month release on our anniversary, May 31st for podcast listeners. We'll give you that password for it later in the month. And then we also ordered the summer collection. So that has been Ooh. ordered June 17th. Um, there are some brand new, if all goes well, there are some brand new products, products coming, not apparel. Well, you still wear it. Yeah. But different, yeah, different, not a t-shirt, not a sweatshirt. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the other big information news, I don't know how know what to call the segment that I just it's made news. up. I don't know why you're not. Well, I said news and you got panicked. Like I was going to talk about no. the breaking news of the day. No, no, no. I got panicked. Like, I don't know why you're looking at me. Cause well, I, I don't know if you had some beauty counter thing coming up or like, I don't know. True. I'm just, I'm just trying to I help. <laughs> I think there's our big friends and family sale coming in May. You it think? typically happens in April and it didn't. So, so I'm just waiting to find out. So request but, your samples now so you can be ready. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the June collection is going to be really good. And then a couple of people have texted us and asked us about this thing that Brooke previewed on her Instagram one time um, oh, yeah. for the survey. It's a visual scheduler for kids. Yep. And uh, we think we are very, very close to actually launching it. Yeah. We're waiting for what we think is the final sample. Yes. And once we have the final sample in hand in hand and we're like, this is it, this is what we want to mass produce. Yep. Then we will be pretty close to launching. So you guys will find out first, but yeah, sometimes I feel like we just like end the podcast and there's stuff that we forget to share. And so that's what I wanted to share today. So I'm excited for that sample to get here. Yes. And 
the other samples. And the other samples. There's so a lot, lot of sample. Samples. A lot of samples showing up. Um, yeah. So let us know what you think. Samples of, are back at Costco. Yeah. At Maui Costco. 2022. Big year. Wild ride. Wild ride. Um, so thank you for listening. Thank you for making us a part of your week. You know, head to the YouTube if you want to add anything or say that something Brooke said resonated with you because that's usually what the comment is. It's fine. <laughs> Not always. I'm fine. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. All right. Thank you for listening. Okay. okay I love, love you. Bye. bye.